Hey guys, it's Kim Dye here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So, lots going on in this video. So, today we are going to go car shopping for the very first time. Honestly, uh, I don't really have high hopes for getting a car soon because of the whole pandemic. Basically, what has happened is that cars are really hard to get now and I've heard that people have to wait like, you know, six months to get a car. So... Hopefully that doesn't happen, um, but we're just going to go have a look around. We kind of know what we want already, but we just want to like maybe test drive just to know exactly um, what car we want. So that's happening. And then I have some friends coming over later tonight. We're going to go get dinner and catch up. And then, oh, I need to pack my bag soon because I'm going to Perth in like two days. So on Monday, I really hope that I can get on this flight because um, basically Western Australia, the state Perth is in, if there's like a few COVID cases in a different state, they shut the borders to that state and you can't enter Perth at all. So fingers crossed that in the next two days, nothing happens. So if it's all good, I'll be on the flight in like two days. So I'm very excited for that. Um, but just before I start this video, I just want to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators they offer lots of classes ranging from design, cooking, photography, editing videos, baking, like design. There is a lot to choose from. There are thousands of different classes in different genres. So I'm sure you guys will find something that you'll be interested in. Most of the classes are under 60 minutes and they break them up into like smaller classes. So it's very easy to fit into your schedule. You can just watch a couple classes like here and there. So yeah, it's very flexible. So for the past year, actually, um, I've been looking at random Skillshare classes just because, you know, well, last year I was bored with nothing to do at home um, during lockdown. So I got into baking, so I started looking at a lot of the baking classes. Before I started baking, right, I was terrible. Like, I couldn't bake anything. But now that I've started to, uh, you know, learn a few tips and tricks and started baking more complicated stuff, I feel like, okay, I'm not like an amazing baker or anything, but I feel like I'm quite decent now. So yeah, I've definitely improved my skill there. Um, recently though, because I just moved into this new apartment, I wanted to learn a little bit more about interior design. I am really bad at interior design. So my previous place, I don't know why, but like I just really did not like how it looked. Um, I just thought the apartment looked cluttered all the time and the furniture pieces didn't really match up properly. My decorations definitely did not match. So a class I've been watching, which I can also recommend to you guys because it's really good. Um, it's interior design by Michael Welch. Skillshare is very affordable. It's less than $10 a month and you have access to so many classes. So if you guys are interested to check out Skillshare, I have a coupon for free premium membership for the first 1,000 people who click the link. So I will link that down below if you guys are interested to check it out. Anyway, um, I'm going to head off now. Eric and I are going to get some lunch and then car shopping. We have arrived at Banksia Station. First stop is Honda, which is literally just across the road. We still have to wear masks on public transport, but starting from Monday, we don't have to anymore, so that's gonna be very nice. So today we only have two stops that we plan to go to, Honda and Toyota. Just finished off at Honda and yeah, like I expected, there's like no stop. There's like two cars in stock. Um, so we're gonna head off to Toyota, which is like 15 minute walk away. By the way, guys, my shoe has broken. It's packed. I mean, I can still walk, but I'm gonna try and glue it back together. I love these shoes. These were like, I don't know, $10 in Korea, but I wear them all the time. We are currently inside a Toyota Corolla. Um, Rest break. <laughs> we're very confused. I mean, the cars we owned before um, were very simple. Now there's like, you know, a push to start, which is very new to us. This feels normal. Normal? I feel like it feels smoother because it's a hybrid. We are just trying to park the car. It's funny because like, you know, most cars come with cameras these days. But like, when I drove in Japan, I drove, like most of the cars I drove had cameras, but I never used the cameras because like, I don't know how to use them. <laughs> That's a break. 
right hand. Yeah. Like, that's so weird because I'm used to like the whole full handbrake. Hey guys, I am back home and I'm just going to wash my makeup brushes because um, earlier one of my friends came over. So uh, basically my friend, she um, is going to like a bachelorette party and she asked me if I can help her with makeup. So I was like, yeah, of course. The thing is though, I'm not exactly that good at doing other people's makeup. I can do my own makeup, but yeah, when it comes to other people, I'm not so good. I actually got this at Daiso. This is like one of my favorite things ever. It's um, a makeup brush cleaner. And then you also get this solution as well. Look at how clean that is. And I'm just gonna lay out a towel. I just cleaned my brushes, guys, and look, this is so disgusting. But can you see the color of that water? It's like brown. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go out to dinner with my friend Wendy now, so let's go. Wendy just came over and gave me this drawing of Yuki she did last year. Look at that. It's so cool because it actually looks like Yuki. Like That's so cool. I will link her Instagram down below, but seriously, so cool. I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna get some dinner. Where's the chicken rice? That looks so good. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm just about to head out to go more car shopping. So we were going to go to Parramatta, but unfortunately, uh, well, good thing that we found out that it's closed on a Sunday. So change of plans. We're going to go to one in Leichhardt, I think it is. And then we're also going to go to one in Homebush. So I think going to two is good enough. Uh, we're only going to go to Honda. From the test drive, we both realized that we didn't really like the Toyota Corolla. So um, yeah, we decided we're going to go and stick with Honda. So we're going to go to two of them today. But yeah, last night I caught up with my friend Wendy. It's been a while. It's really funny because uh, we've been friends for so long, um, ever since I was 13 years old, 18 years ago. So yeah, pretty much we met online um, when I was living in Perth. She was in Sydney. We were both in high school, like first year of high school. Uh, we met and then we used to talk like every single day on MSN. I remember that there was a period where we stopped talking for a while because we both stopped using MSN. And then I came to Sydney for the very first time like seven years ago. So I messaged her, I was like, hey Wendy, um, I don't know if you remember me, but um, I'm coming to Sydney if you want to meet up in person for the first time. And she was like, yeah, of course. So we met up and yeah, um, moved to Sydney and yeah, we've been really good friends ever since, which is like so cool. Like We were just internet friends like when we were teenagers. But um, um, she's so talented. She painted this picture of Yuki for me. Like, look at that. It's so cool because it actually looks like Yuki. Like, you look at this picture and you're like, that's Yuki. I'm going to be putting this inside this magazine so I can protect it. It's the love story magazine for the wedding series. Eric and I actually did a photo shoot, so that's why I'm going to bring this back to Perth as well. These dresses I'm wearing are from Stephen K. Lil, which is like amazing. Um, such an honor to wear them. And then I also wore a dress from Vera Wang. So we did this photo shoot back in August last year. So yeah, I'm just gonna give my parents this magazine because um, they've been kind of asking for one. I was supposed to ship it over, but I never had the chance to. So because I'm going over to Perth tomorrow, should be okay. Um, but yeah, I was like really worried yesterday, right? Because what happened was I was on the train going back home and then I saw on the news that Western Australia is making everyone who's coming into Perth from Queensland, they need to quarantine for 14 days and take like a COVID test. And I was like, oh my God, I was so scared because I thought it was like New South Wales, but thank God, Oh, touch wood that um, it wasn't New South Wales and um, yeah, I'm just praying like it's just one more day please no cases come up um, but yeah they are doing that because in Brisbane I think it is um, there was a quarantine worker that caught COVID and he was in the community for like a week so that's why Western Australia just like shut the borders to them which makes sense because um, I mean Western Australia, Perth, is like pretty much one of the safest places in the world. So I'm really excited to go back. And like, I mean, like it, life in Sydney is already pretty normal, but we still have to wear like a face mask on public transport. But starting from tomorrow, we don't have to anymore. But in Perth, like, They've been living COVID free for the last like year. So everything is back to normal. So I'm just really excited to go back and just, you know, 
experience that again. My friends um, heard that I was coming back and then they are already organizing like catch ups, which is super nice of them. So yeah, we'll be um, catching up on like the Friday and Saturday. So I'll try and vlog some of it. I may not vlog all of it just because I want to really spend quality time with people, but Perth vlogs, you guys would definitely see a lot of Yuki. So yeah, that's going to be very exciting. That we have made it to Homebush. So we're gonna go to, uh, was it Sutton? Honda Homebush? Never been to this area before. Oh look, got all these COVID-19 testing sites there. Here we are at Honda. Made it! Okay, we are back at Homebush Station. We're gonna take the train to Lewisham to go to another Honda dealer. Um, basically this one, no stock. <laughs> we are looking for a hatchback. So yeah, unfortunately um, they've only got sedans. So hopefully the next one will have something. We have arrived to Lewisham and we're walking to the, I think, Auto Sports Honda. Let's hope that we can find a car that we can test drive because we really want to test drive before we decide to buy. Whilst we were at the other Honda, they did have a car that we wanted that is coming in like two months. So we've got hope that maybe in two months we can get a car. We pulled the trigger. <laughs> so we went to this store in Lewisham and okay, like originally, there was a colour I wanted and the previous store had it that was going to come in a few weeks uh, but then we went to this store and we saw a colour that we weren't thinking about before but when we saw it in person it was really nice so yeah we just decided to sign the contract pay a deposit so now we have a car um, well not yet we're going to pick it up after I get back from Perth it's been a long time coming like We've been living in Sydney for almost two years, so I'm very excited to explore more of Sydney. Um, now that we have a car, it's going to be easier to get around. All right, so we're going to take the train to go back home. And yeah, um, in about a week and a half's time, we'll have a car. I'm so excited to like drive around to different places. day and I'm super excited because today is the day that I finally get to go back to Perth so I haven't packed my bags yet and you guys know me I don't pack until like a few hours until I have to go so to be honest I have to go to the airport in like maybe three hours so I probably should start very soon but um, because it's a very short trip to Perth it's only for about a week I don't have that much I have to pack anyway and because I will be staying with my parents I have a lot of my old clothes and stuff in their house so you know worst case scenario I've got like you know stuff to wear I actually still think I have a lot of my old Japanese clothes there so I might go have a look and maybe if I have enough there I might film a video trying those clothes on again because as you guys know my style has changed a lot over the years so when I come back from Perth next week I'm gonna go pick up the car so yeah Eric and I are super excited that we can finally explore more of Sydney easier like I mean public transport isn't that bad here but obviously it's much easier if you have a car and Eric and I have always been so used to driving in Australia that not having a car for two years was I mean it was okay but like I said before I never explored anything in Sydney I only stayed in the city I have some errands to run as well I need to go to the licensing center to um, do some documents for the car so ooh, okay let's pack now yeah. my friend Janelle forgot her jacket um, at my old apartment when she visited like in February last year so I'm going to give that back to her um, I have a bag full of skincare um, and makeup to give to my family usually for my extras I give it away or donate them but I kept a bunch of stuff for my family stuff that they would like so I'm gonna bring that back I have my own makeup bag I'm gonna pack a few outfits to wear and also take some pictures 
uh, with. So yeah, I'm not gonna bring too many. Cause like I said, I'm staying at my parents and I still have some clothes left over there. Also you guys might be wondering um, why I'm not staying in my own apartment in Perth. And that's because, well, when we left Perth, we decided to rent our apartment out. And currently there's a tenant in there. So yeah, very happy that we were able to rent out the place really quickly. And it's good because we get some income from it too. Okay, so let's pack my little skincare bag. For makeup remover, I have this Clinique Take the Day Off sample size. But I also got this on YesStyle. This is the Vanilla Co Clean It Zero. And look at how cute these are. These are like mini travel sized versions which you can get on YesStyle. So I might bring one of them with me just in case I run out. If I run out. For toner, I'm going to bring this Pyong Kong Yul toner. This is just a small sample size as well. For serum, I am going to bring my favorite Neogen Real Ferment Micro Serum. I am also going to bring this Pyong Kong Yul Low pH Pore Deep Cleansing Foam. It's a small travel size version, so it all fits inside this bag. A cream I have absolutely been loving is this Laneige Radiancy Cream. It's been so long since I've packed to go anywhere that I just don't know what to pack anymore. But luckily, I still have my old packing list. So you guys know how, well, before this pandemic, I used to travel to Japan like once or twice a month. So I have like a list that I just write on a notepad on things that I need to bring with me when I travel. Um, the flight to Perth is actually quite long. It's like five and a half hours. And you know what, like before when I used to fly a lot, that used to be okay. I used to be able to entertain myself so easily. I used to be able to sleep very easily on a plane as well, but because it's been over a year, I don't know how I'm gonna feel like on a plane. So I booked a flight with Virgin Airlines and because they are trying to cut costs, they pretty much sold all their big planes and also they cut down on food. So I'm gonna have to eat before I get onto the plane or I might bring some food onto the plane. We'll see. Anyway guys, I am going to quickly get my errands done. So I'm not going to vlog her because I'm in a big rush. So I will see you guys when I get back. All right guys, I am back home. I'm cutting it very close. Even though I have not gone on a flight in over a year, things never change. I am still a very, very last minute person where you know I get to the airport at the very last moment. Now actually what I'm going to do is put this suitcase inside another suitcase. So let's hope that they all fit. The reason why I'm doing this is because that is actually Eric's mum's suitcase. So I'm going to return it to her when I get back to her. Yes, it fits. Oh guys, do you miss this? When I'm like constantly stressing, not knowing whether or not I'm gonna make my flight. Oh, uh, yeah, that is me. I'm going to pinch a bunch of face masks just in case as well. Anyway guys, I'm gonna head to the airport. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry not much happened, but we got our car and I'm flying back to Perth. So I will see you guys in the next video where we'll be going to Perth. Bye guys.